Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. All right, so back to using Filmic Pro. Um, I've been recording for about a minute already, and it didn't, like, stop on me. So maybe there was some weird little thing. I don't know. But it doesn't look like there's as much of a... Yeah, there's still a little bit of a delay on that. So I don't know. It's just like the ca the regular iPhone camera app, it just there's not enough control. That's the problem to... Um, to like control, you know, exposure and white balance and all that. Um, so we'll see how this goes. It, it's not exactly, you know, doing great on there, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see, let's see if I have to resort to the Vixia, which I had since I, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I didn't have the, uh, my uh, shop lights on to illuminate the green screen the last like five episodes. One, two, three, four, five episodes. So hopefully, the 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 final cut was I've had that happen where I didn't but all the other lights was enough to illuminate the green so I still get a halfway decent key but now it's lit so I have a better will be a better key I'm trying to not have any shadows there um, all right so let's get into the wine I just cannot wait to so I'm recording the Halloween episode next but that was what two episodes ago all right so this another one of those wines is going to be kind of fun to talk about here. This is the 1996. Yeah, it looks really good, actually. It looks better than the Moment app. Um, Chateau Veyrac. Okay, yeah, you can see the label there. saint Emilion Grand Cru. Um, so it's the Earl des Vignobles Belanger. Uh, Belanger. So here's the thing. So when you look up Chateau Veyrac, this does this this particular wine does not come up except for Psalm Select. Got in Psalm Select. Uh 31 uh 3110 total, including tax and shipping insurance. So like $28, I guess, $27. Um but uh a different one comes up, it, the uh, Chateau Haute Verac. All right, Verac. So which is a different winery. Also in Saint Emilion, and then there's another winery that that I guess is in the, the community or whatever. And um, dude, you can tell it's totally old. Um, oh look at that! See all the sediment in there. Yeah, the, I mean these wines really should be opened and then like decanted, but I'll probably have to. I'll probably end up drinking this uh, tomorrow. Uh, finishing it off. I don't know. I might. I might not. I might bring a tasting group next Monday. Um, to uh, I'm hosting my tasting group on the 14th of October, so we're doing service. But I might bring one of these as wines I'm going to bring for tasting. It's kind of like also the the wines I did this whole set of wines. Some of these are probably going to be wines I'm going to bring for tasting group. Um, though some of them are probably not because they weren't that great. I didn't like them. Maybe maybe they are good wines, but so back to the winery. So it's really hard to find. You can't find this winery online. I found like a um, uh, some websites in France that talk about the company. Uh, apparently, they have three. They have three wineries, but none of them are like listed. It's just like they have a company under the um, Philippe um, uh, Philippe Bellinger Bellinger. Um, name, but that's about it. So, so the only thing you can find is from Psalm Select. So let's go ahead and read it. Uh, when presented with mature Bordeaux from a star-studded vintage, we bow low in gratitude. But when this 1996 appeared at such a modest price, we almost toppled over. 
When originally released, The Vengeance was lauded as a bona fide classic and prices reflected that, but collectors weren't deterred, far from it actually. These beauties, regardless of price, were quickly snatched up with zealous fervor and immediately consumed or stowed away for the long haul. All right, so um, basically what we're trying to say is finding something from 96 is pretty hard. Um, well, first of all, this is a mostly Merlot with Cabernet Franc. Um, new and used French Bariques uh, as far as aging. Uh, soils, limestone, and clay. Um, let's see here. It says decanting for sediment because, yeah, there's definitely some sediment here. Hey, the, the app is still going, so that's a good sign. Um, all right. Um, so it says, when's the last time you had a perfectly stored 20-year-old Bordeaux for less than 30 bucks? All right. Though an obscure name outside of France, the Bellinger family owns three chateaux in the right bank Appalachians of Bordeaux. At the start of the 1980s, which when I looked everything up, there was like a, from 1989 came up as far as a year for the, the company, like their, this Philippe Bellinger company, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, Philippe and Christine Bellinger or Bellinger uh, relocated, maybe it was Bellinger. Might be because like Bollinger is actually pronounced Bollinger. Tattinger is actually pronounced Tattinger. So maybe it's Bollinger, maybe it's Bellinger. Uh, relocated to the eastern reaches of saint emilion and set up shop in the idyllic commune, commune of Saint-Étienne-de-Lisse. Lisse, because no tilt, there's no tilt, there's no accent over the E. With neighbors like Chateau Valandrade and Fleur Cardinal, uh, they were surrounded by good company, though an old estate, the Bellingers, took over Chateau Vérac and began crafting supple classic saint emilion blends Property has just 10 hectares planted to Merlot and Cabernet Franc, former making up the largest proportion. The former, the Merlot making up the larger, largest proportion, larger actually. All grapes are hand picked and meticulously selected, sorted uh, before fermenting in temperature controlled stainless steel tanks. Aging occurs in a combination of new and used French barriques for approximately 12 to 15 months. Um, and yes, that's it because the rest is tasty notes are just stuff we don't need to talk about. All right. So let's get into this. I'm excited, um, for having a 96 Bordeaux. All right. So yeah, this is old, like it's old. So it's actually a little bit of soy sauce to it. It's like brown, like it's brown. Like, I don't know if you could see when it was coming out of the spout. It was like a couple times it came out like really light, like almost see-through, but it's like, it's like just straight up brown. Like, yeah. Like I'd be worried, honestly, like 20 years old. Yes. It should have some browning, but there should be some kind of like red color to it. But this is like straight up like iced tea, like, like thick iced tea. So, yeah, I mean, but it's like oxidized, but in a good way, uh, kind of soy sauce, pruny, plummy, you know, raisinated fruit or oxidized, more oxidized than the fruit, prunes, figs, kind of sweet smelling. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like off or it doesn't smell faulted or anything like that. Um, it doesn't smell dirty or anything like that. So let's try it. The wine is sound, but it tastes like old Berg. I mean, not Berg, old Bordeaux. Um, there's definitely some kind of tobacco to it. Um, there's a sweet, like sweet, um, fruit to it, like, you know, raisinated type of fruit, oxidized fruit. Um, again, with that plum fig, um, but also a little bit of like blueberry and a little bit of cherry. Um, tannins actually kind of creeping up on you. Um, the city's actually kind of high too. Uh, wasn't expecting the acid to, to kind of creep up like that. See if he throws it on here. No, we don't have it. 
Um, I mean, alcohol is 12.5, totally like, like low alcohol or medium. It's like medium alcohol, but it's not a high alcohol wine. I mean, this is, this is a wine that you have to like old wine. If you don't like old wine, you're going to say this wine sucks. But you have, to, you have to be able to appreciate old wine for what it is. It's not fresh. It's not, like, vibrant. Um, I mean, it's, I don't know how much longer it can go. Let's see if it says anything on here. No, it doesn't say. Oh, it says now through 2021. So, you know, Cobble is like, yeah, you can get, like, another year out of it before it starts kind of breaking apart. I think it's at that point right now. I mean, it's almost 2021, so. Um, yeah, I mean, this is like, this is actually probably on its downward, downward trajectory. It hasn't like fallen off yet. But it's a bit leathery. Um, definitely aged. It kind of tastes a little younger than 20 years, but not much. But I like the wine. I like the wine for what it is. Um, like if I tried to pour this for my dad, he'd be like, "Ugh, it it's horrible," because it's not what he likes. The Psalm Group, they'll appreciate it. And they'll definitely appreciate this. So I'm going to bring this to Psalm Group. It'll be one of the blinds that they're going to get. So, um, which I do that to them a lot. I bring like old wines, like nine, like mid to late '90s if I have it, uh, or early 2000s if I have it, because like I get a lot of it from Psalm Select. Honestly, a lot of my old wines. Um, plus, I like buying from them because I know that the, the wines are going to be um, properly stored during the, like, the, the, almost directly from the winery. So they're going to be properly stored at the winery, and then they're going to be shipped over properly. And then when they get to me, they're going to be shipped properly, too. They're not, they don't ship during the summer. It's not going to get, they're not going to get heat damaged. Or the likelihood of heat damage is really low from Psalm Select because they, they really try to make sure that, at least from when it goes from the winery to them, to me, it's not going to get heat damage, or it's going to the, the likelihood is really low. Um, what happened at the winery? You know, they taste these wines, so hopefully, whatever they taste is going to be the same wines you're going to get. Yeah, this wine needs to open up. It needs to be decanted. But yeah. I like the wine. I'm going to finish that. All right. So, yeah, Tana's really kind of getting there, too. Click the links above to friend me up. Click the links below to learn more about this wine on the Psalm Select site. Like I said, I don't really have a, another website to give you. And um, it's kind of weird that the there's a little message on the top of, of the, the screen there from Phil, Phil McPro, and it kind of, like, moves. It kind of, it's kind of distracting, honestly. Um Send me, send me some ducats if you like. And if you don't know what ducat is, it means money, okay? Throw, 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 some, throw some bones my way. And uh, we'll see you again next time.